possibilities of winning the end game why are 3d movies more appealing to our eyes can there be 4d 5d and 60 we will discuss all these things in today's video so the d in the word 2d and 3d stands for dimension or more precisely dimension of a mathematical space so in mathematics dimension of a mathematical space is defined as the minimum number of coordinates needed to specify any point within it right in simple terms it is defined as the measurable extent to a particular point such as length breadth depth or the height etc starting from 0d or xerox dimension it is something which cannot be measured in any ways or we cannot specify a point within it for example a point or a dot is at zero dimension since it has no length no breadth no height to specify its space therefore the point is a zero dimension figure coming to one dimension or 1d where the extent of measurement is only one have you ever seen a rope from a distance and wondered about its dimension you can see its length from a distance but you probably neglect the width of the rope so you only see the length of the rope so for your perception it can be one dimension object but think from the perspective of an insect crawling over the rope it can be moving along the left right back or forth over that rope so for this the insect the same rope is a 2d object just like the floor of your rope if the extent of measurement is 2 then the dimension is called 2d or the 2 dimension where the two coordinates are required to specify a point of it the screen of youtube you see on your phone right now is a two dimensional space the normal movies in theater are example of two dimensional space where you can measure only the length and the breadth or the length and the height of the space but only two extent of measurement if the extent of measurements are three the length and the breadth and the height then the space is a three dimension or a 3d space it is actual space which we see most of our time in our life where things can move left right back and forth and as well as up and down so there are three ways to specify a point inside the space and thus a space is a 3d space and that is the reason 3d movies gives you more real life experience we live in a world of three dimension and so thinking beyond three dimension is a little complicated according to scientists the fourth dimension of space is nothing but the time up to three dimensions it was possible to move along left right backward and forward up and down but with an addition of a fourth dimension time bodies can move along the axis of the time we can go back and beyond in time in this particular dimension sound like time traveling isn't it yes it is the dimension where the past present and the future exist all together where we are not bound to move only in one forward direction of time we can go back and beyond the current present so that's what the fourth dimension would be a more complicated dimension is the timelines of the time which is the fifth dimension the dimension cannot be directly perceived by humans although they exist in the movie avengers the infinity war you must have seen Doctor Strange visiting 14 million 605 timelines and getting only one possibility of winning the endgame battles with Thanos. That was nothing but a fictional depiction of fifth dimension of life. Doctor Strange was able to see those possibilities by moving along different timelines in fifth dimension. We can move along the axis of different situations of time. In this dimension, what that means is that we can only see the consequences of present actions in future. So, Iron Man's action on Infinity Stones 
for the death of Thanos was one of the timeline already seen in Doctor Strange. Strange, right? Scientists talk about an even more hypothetical string theory which requires 11 dimensions. But that is beyond the scope of today's video. Do let us know in the comment section below if you are curious to learn beyond the fifth dimension. You can discover more complicated dimensions as you dive deeper into the theories and the law of physics as you grow old. I hope you like this video. If you like this, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Unleash Maths for more amazing content like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.